People uh, have started to hear about this new executive order that was just handed down by our new mayor and obviously business owners all over San Diego are shaking their heads saying, you know what, we're already hanging on by our fingernails on a cliff and one hand is already gone, the other hand is hanging on and this basically will, that hand will drop and lots of businesses will go out of business as a result of this. I know the mayor is talking about, you know, some sort of a package to help businesses out, but it'll be too late, they'll be gone, right? And not only that, when you talk about a package to help businesses, you're talking about raising taxes. Business owners say, why don't you just let us reopen, do things properly, we'll raise the taxes for you, instead of having to shut us down and raise taxes on hardworking people that have nothing to do with the restaurant business. But that's where we are. And I'm going to show you something really interesting. We're in the piazza right here in Little Italy. And this piazza, by the way, unless they decide to change their mind after my report, which they tend to do, um, the politicians I'm talking about, um, this piazza will remain open because this piazza has been designated, and get this, a state park. When they created this thing years ago, it was designated a state park, and when all these rules started coming down from Sacramento, somehow they carved out this as a state park, so outdoor dining is okay here. But if Mike is gonna pan to the left, take a look at this, just what, 10, 15, 20 feet away? This is closed because this is not allowed because this is a private business and that is not considered park space this is park space so it's wide open so a lot of people are just shaking their heads saying you know look if you're going to follow the actual science which the politicians are not doing right now even though todd gloria said listen to the medical community well he's not listening to med he's listening to politicians who are advising him to shut down businesses that are not responsible for spreading the coronavirus we all know this by now wilma wooten uh, dr galley all of the medical people saying not outdoor dining this is not the reason why coronavirus is going up it's other reasons but the politicians can't go after those other reasons, so they go for what was described to me as a low-hanging fruit out here. So uh, we talked to some folks just a little while ago, sort of proposed what's going on to them about this latest crackdown from the new mayor, and here's what they had to say. The piazza is open, and it's gonna stay open, but when you look at the other businesses that are just right around the corner, like not even 20 feet away, they're all gonna have to shut their doors. So it's not, at least to me, it doesn't seem right. It's a bummer, but I, I'm also a rule follower, and it's one of those things where um, I'll follow the rules, and I definitely will respect them, but while it's open, I mean, why not take advantage of it? You know, I think the whole thing is, is just absolutely horrible. Every business is essential because that's how you make a living. I have friends who have like, hair salons, you know, and they haven't been able to open and, and things like that. And it's just not right that they decide to choose who they think is essential. Everybody has a right to have their business and make a living. Well, the man on the street understands that, but apparently our political leaders do not. And by the way, I just want to say a couple of things before we move on. Number one, during Todd Gloria's news conference today, he, he referred to these business owners who want to stay open and survive on outdoor dining. He referred to them as selfish, selfish people. He also said, listen to the public health officers. And at the same time said, we're going to crack down on outdoor dining. So uh, you do the math on all this. Uh, you know, people's heads are spinning once again, more so than they have been in a long time. Um, it's just, it's just crazy. Again, you just got to follow the science. And if you follow the science and you listen to the actual medical community, not the politicians, if you listen to the medical community, they will tell you, do not crack down on outdoor dining because it is not responsible. And the long-term impact of continuously beating up these businesses that are not responsible for the outbreaks is going to have long-term effects on thousands of people, not only here in San Diego, but obviously all over California. So here we are on the piazza, which unless the politicians change their mind, which they very well might, um, the piazza is open for business, will remain open for business, but 50 feet that way, 20 feet this way, closing it down, and the police will come knocking on your door as well. By the way, we have requested a variety of information from the mayor's office, trying to fill some of the gaps on exactly how this is gonna go down. Um, you know, are the people out here gonna be fined? Are, are the restaurant owners gonna be taken away in handcuffs? I mean, you know, what's going on out here? So we're trying to get some more specific information from the new mayor's office, and uh, hopefully that information will be forthcoming um, by either tonight or tomorrow. Or, or not, you know, because politicians, you know, whatever. Uh, so that's what's going on out here. 
Uh, the crackdown apparently is going to begin everywhere except where I'm standing. See you back here at six o'clock. We'll be live in Little Italy, and it sure is beautiful, and it sure feels nice to have people out here living life and doing it right. Yeah. With their masks and socially distance. Dan, I yeah. think it's interesting that Piazza is a state park, you said, and so they can't really close that unless I suppose the state does it. I'm wondering who owns the chairs and the umbrellas and if they might make those people or the uh, take them away so yeah, that the park that, is still open, well, but that the chairs <laughs> and the umbrellas are not. And the only way you can have dinner there is if you bring your own chair and your own table. <laughs> Well, the Ginger said, "Don't give me any ideas." The little... <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Listen, the politicians. Listen, the politicians are taking notes right now, and we know which ones are sitting there taking notes. And they're like, "Okay, KUSI said they're open. Let's go close them down." Okay, well, KUSI said they're open. Oh, let's close them down too. You know, but uh, the tables and chairs are owned by the Little Italy Association. And yes, I guess it would take a designation from the state, you know, to close it down as yeah. well. And I'm sure that there are politicians right now wringing their hands, just waiting to come up with a reason to shut this down as well. Even though, again, you know, let's just be real, this is not the reason for the increase in the spikes. Medical community can talk more about that. This yeah. operation is not the reason for the spikes. And that's why people are saying enough is enough here. All right. Dan Platt, live here in Little six. Italy. It looks beautiful down there. Uh, boy, the sun's going down. You still it got some pretty. Christmas lights. <laughs> yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, pal. Yeah, it's nice. Yep. Yep. We'll see yeah, you at six. Yeah, he got it. The things we've learned this year, that a meal is not a hot dog, or maybe it is a hot dog, <laughs> if you order a beer with it.